People are really shocked that I'm married a lot of times, especially if they watch my videos where I'm like, men are trash, and I get it. Because a lot of us have a hard time believing that you can be so angry at men and what they do to us and all the trauma they put us through, especially if you were, you know, were almost unalive by them and graped by multiple ones and blah, 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 like me. Like I have every right to have just tapped out forever and that'd probably be fine. And I always wanna encourage women to take breaks, to decenter men, decenter the idea of marriage, the idea of like, needing to be linked to a man, of needing not only to find happiness and like yourself in a relationship with a man, because patriarchy, you're gonna lose yourself. You're not gonna find yourself. You're gonna lose yourself if you're with the wrong man. And if he's not deconstructing patriarchy, bye-bye. You are gone. And there's nothing lonelier, I think, maybe solitary confinement. That's probably lonelier. There's nothing lonelier, in my opinion, than being in a relationship that you feel lonely. And that's what so many women are in. They're dating men who have, are so unhealed and so unwilling to change and really look at themselves and deconstruct patriarchy, which has literally taught them from the day they were born to dominate. And so in those relationships, women are very lonely. They're not valued. They're not even seen. They're not seen as human beings a lot of times, but they're especially not seen as a unique individual with her own life outside of him, right? We're, we're just the sidecar on his little adventure of life. So what I try to do here is really encourage women to date yourself, love being alone, love who you are in your relationships with other people, your friends, love who you are in your community, pour into yourself, pour into other people and shift all that focus that heteronormative patriarchy BS has taught us to do, right? And put that here, center yourself. You've not been taught to do that. And this can take years or even decades in my, in my case. And some women will never date again and that's fine. But what you'll never hear me do on here is to devalue what relationships can also bring. And yes, some of these relationships are with cishet men. I don't know if it's because I'm a masochist or I love a good challenge or if I'm just a stubborn bird. But despite all the ways that men broke me down and almost ruined my life, I was always open to the idea of partnering with a man. Open to it, not looking for it, open to it. And let me tell you, I have not stepped into this much confidence, this strong of a sense of feminism, this dedicated to deconstructing patriarchy until I met Anthony. It's so easy to be a feminist when you're not dating men, but there is a way to do it. And in fact, if you've built that community and those friendships and, the, and those people who are, who are healthy and genuine and hold you accountable and tell you the truth that you don't wanna hear, but is actually gonna be helpful to you, if you work on all that stuff, the need for a relationship goes down. And then when one does come up, you're less likely to mess it up or go after someone who's trash. No. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's totally human to want a partner, not necessarily a heteronormative idea of partnership, not necessarily marriage, but God, we're, who, who are we kidding? As somebody who was alone for most of my adult life and loved being alone. I, I should get a gold medal in aloneness. A plus 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 in single woman-ness. Rawr! Even I found myself in new ways and very surprising ways and very empowering ways in a relationship. Imagine that! And with a man! <laughs>